Chief Minister Virin says committee to check frequent artificial flood condition in the state will be formed. Large number of localities submerge under flood water in many districts of the state. Amuko President P.H. Devan asserts conclusion to the framework agreement between NSC and IM and Centre cannot affect the integrity of Manipur. An ex executive director of Human Rights Alert, Bablu Loitongam, alleges CBI of delaying trial of fact encounter cases. Hello and welcome to Impact News for watching Primetime English News. And I'm Victoria Rajkumari with the top stories and the latest news at this hour. First up, Chief Minister Nong Thombambirin has asserted that the Committee of the Youth to check the frequent artificial flood condition in the state will be formed and assured that the government will support any resolution taken by the people. The Chief Minister was speaking at the reception ceremony of Lok Sabha MP and President of BJYM, Punam Mahajan, in relation with Yuva Sakti Samelan at City Convention Centre today. Birin appealed to the people of the state to work together for a developed society instead of hurling blames at one another. He also intimated that for the first time in the history of Manipur, recruitment of the new IRB personnel will be telecast live to ensure transparency in the process. With regard to Go to Village mission, the Chief Minister asserted that the mission has provided readmission to 40 students from Lafupa Tera who have dropped out of schools, stating that the youth of the state play an indispensable part in the development of the state. He appealed them to assess the various schemes provided by the BJP-led government and share the experience with the citizens of the state. Ministers, MLAs and top officials of various departments attended the event. Government is ready to do anything, any positive demand requirement for the state. Government will be always behind you and always will go hand to hand with you. Kramayana thoi no plache. Karai jat khabai no. Karai jat hinjale. Hong Kari ngai sa sadi ta horoba. Aduga. Sigi nala asima phala di. Sigi yum zima tu di adi. Sigi asi club sa zali se lo thoi di ma si. Fani ni hai vajay moi decide. Decide lo kshunoba. Aduga. Go meno ma teng paang se. Government has already announced start up policy. Of keeping more than 35 crores. And we have also invited from the willing candidates. And now almost 500 applicants has come, and we are going to announce it shortly. Although the Honorable Prime Minister, the Home Minister, and the Pirapa, IRB Battalion, and Nitushu, are the IRB Pirakre, Cabinet from BI, and today the post vacancy to post rate or Harkana, a true the recruitment organ. Incessant rains in the past few days have triggered flood-like situation in several areas in the valley, including National Highway Number Two. People have expressed disappointment over indifference of the authority concerned to flood affected areas. Our reporter Ketrimim Premchan brings you an exclusive report in this regard. The incessant rainfall over the past few days leads to flash floods and summers. Huge tracts of Imphal Valley, including many roads and some parts of National Highway No. 2. Large number of localities summers under flood water in many parts of Imphal Valley. The main cause of flash flood in the valley is due to the poor drainage systems. Nongai suboga koi sai jai pakawa chokha bam rekai puki jongpan. Yum dagi tukan lambia loi na thume matik chabo thoi ti na shomata chaka na shomata chik tobo lakpi dre. Ano akoi jai yangwa na dre. Dai tapani ni mung de pit pit lawa galoi na mak sangwa yadre tukan pamba yadre lambia sarpa yadre. Dun akoi jai yangwa na hinge. Adi drain jo loi na phulle. 
ಅನ್ಹಾರು ಅಂಗಾಂ ಕ್ಲಬ್ನ ಸೇಕ್ ತೋಬದ ಅಮತ್ತ ಹೋರಂದ್ರೆ ಮತಿಕ್ ಸಾಬ ಅಚೋಬ ಉಕು ಸಿಂಜೆ ಸಿಜು ಅಮತ್ತ ಲೋಯನ ಹೋದ್ರೆ ಲೋಯನ ಫುಲ್ಲೆ ಅದನ್ನ ಲೋಯನ ಸಿಂಜೆ ಲೋಯನ ಫುಂದನ ನೈರ ಅದು ಕೊಯ್ ಲೇರ ಕೊಲಕ್ಷಿರ ಇಮುಂದ ಮಾಂಗೊಂದ ಸುಮಾಂಗದ ದುಕಾನದ ಅಮತ್ತ ಫಂಬ ಯಾದೆ ಆ ಲೋಕೇನ್ ಎಮಎಲ್ಎ ಸುಂಗಾಯ ಪ್ರಧಾನ ಸುಂಗಾಯ ಮೆಂಬರ್ ಸುಂಗಾಯ ಅಮತ್ತ ಯೆಂಗ್ದೆ ಸರ್ಫೇಸ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಸ್ಟಾಗ್ನೆಂಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಓವರ್ ಫ್ಲೋ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಇನ್ಎಡಿಕ್ವೇಟ್ ಡ್ರೈನೆಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಎಂಟರಿಂಗ್ ನಿಯರ್ ಬೈ ಹೌಸಸ್ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಗ್ರೌಂಡ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇವನ್ ದ ರೋಡ್ಸ್ because of poor drainage system this water remains in the house as long as it continues to rain ising loin thum dana haujik leibam jabam khang da dana nungai tre imung bhangi yam nungai tre nongju tha natra ga su masi nongni ni khang chuba matam da koi je ising je yamna chaok salakpa oi bana yamna su nungai taba phibam oi re masi gi matang si da miyeng chang bi na ba si gi mari lai na ba miyoi ising na su khara ko khara yengchen biu haina haijani Now what you are seeing on your screen is not a lake not a river not a pond and not even a mud but this is the flooded part of national highway number 2 here in Kawa Assam Lekai people face inconveniences in traveling through this road it may be mentioned that water resources minister Letpao Haukip along with local MLA Karam Syam who is also a minister of KF and PD inspected this flooded area of national highway last year but not even a piece of single step have not been taken off till now nothing has since instead the situation becomes more worse comparing to last year chief minister nongthongmom biren already rectified that it is impossible to solve all the problems in the state within a short period of time but the flash flood is one of the major problem in the imphal valley which caused a massive inconveniences to the people of manipur so it is high time of the concerned authority to look after the issue most importantly IMC and other local bodies of the belly have to look after the issue and have to maintain the drainage system properly with camera person sungham suvas this is kitrim premsan impact news imphal President of Amuko PH Dewan has asserted that the CSOs of the state cannot agree with the team to harm the integrity of the state by bringing in the formation of Naga Autonomous Territorial Council and Cultural Integration in Manipur upon reaching a final stage to the peace accord between the central government and NSC and IM Dewan was addressing media person at a joint press meet of UCM Amuko CCSK and other CSOs at Amuko office in Kwakaithel today he maintained that the statement made by interlocutor RN Ravi on Indian Express a nation daily on April 26 is a huge threat to the people of state despite the assurance of the prime minister that the conclusion to the framework agreement will not be reached without consulting the state government and the CSOs Devan demanded the prime minister's office to clarify on the matter and also urged the state government to make this ten on the same clear to the public at the earliest he stated that the discourse of the representatives of CSOs academicians and the public on the matter will be convened soon Devan also appealed to the people of the state to be prepared fight against such petty politics taking part in the press meet president of UCM Sunil Karam maintained that the people of Manipur cannot accept demarcation of territory on ethnic line he also appealed to the pub- public to be ready to fight against the action the memorandum submitted by the CSOs of the state irai pak kan bana akoi gi thawai thadok pana hena phai irai pak kal maganda akoi thadok pana hena phai hai ba wa phom che wa khalon che akoi miyam pumna makta lebira ganda miyam pumna mak sem sadana lebira u i tin jun jun nakchala e manipur miyam gi da makta manipur ima gi da makta lamkhai gi da makta sigum ba hingmi nari ba kanglu mayam sing chi gi nungai ai phana na bagi da makta makhoi sing du na thawai kat khraba ni ngasi akoi lehuri ba pumna mak che makhoi gi adugum ba moina chatkhri ba lamben do akoi ngasi mang da tarang tarang thole akoi da singnari ba wa pham sing mayam sing ngasi gi paukum miyam na chap chana akoi pimin asi Executive Director of Human Rights Alert Bablu Loitongbam has alleged the Central Bureau of Investigation CBI of delaying the trial of fake encounter cases Bablu appealed to CBI to resolve all fake encounter cases abiding by the Minnesota protocol at the earliest. 
The executive director made the statement at the closing event of consultation on justice for victims of mass atrocities organized by IFAM and HRA. He stated that altogether 11 resolutions were made during the consultation program. Accusing the CBI of withholding information and evidence, he maintained that according to the constitution, all cases must abide by the national and international laws. He further appealed the government and National Human Rights Commission to ensure the safety of human rights activists and the state as there is evidence of police and security forces threatening them. Speaking on the occasion, Ravi Nair of South Asia Human Rights Documentation Center demanded the government to keep their word and repeal AFSPA from the state before the assembly election. He further urged the state to construct CBI district courts and all the districts of the state to facilitate speedy trials. In this present case, in the Supreme Court, they should give a unilateral CO moto affidavit that they are giving a blanket assurance to the court. The Home Department of Manipur will not file any 197 applications to stop prosecutions that take place by the CBI in this case. We would like the Manipur government to take the initiative to say as soon as the FIRs are filed, as per the directions of the Supreme Court by the CBI, they will designate one district court, at the CBI district court, and hold day-to-day -day trials so that the trials do not take on for air and give expeditious justice to the victims. As a part of Chief Minister Nongthoman Birin's go to village mission, Mahot Minister and Andro Emily Thanaujam Shamkuma has inaugurated a newly constructed office of Maira Paibi at Angtha Mayai Laikai today. Speaking on the occasion, Minister Thanaujam Shamkuma stated that the newly inaugurated building will provide a platform to bring development of women of the locality. The minister also assured that initiative to provide skill development training programs for the women of the area will also be undertaken. Minister Shankuma expressed hope that it will also lead the youth of the locality in the right path. Pradhan of Angtha Gram Panchayat Thiam Manihal, Ward member Thiam Surjit, including the president of Angtha Mayai Lekai Maira Paibi, attended inaugural event organized by Angtha Mayai Lekai Maira Paibi. Sangasi Sabaki Muru Pandam, the Lamda Masida, Inkaliba, the Sabizing, Amadi Maruina, Mosing, Marasang Haina, the Sangas, the Queen of Sipa, the Kazala Samis, the Queen of the Training Center, have the Imboi the Digumba, the Gila, even the Pizing Guba, meeting the woman was some Makalam, the Sang Sai was enough, when Sweden Maki, and the Mesa Quig, a power on the Labour Hiram Kutimoka, have the Labour Lekaiziki, Sakotaramda, and the Gila Kaiziki, the Pizing Guba problem, the Pisalon Saki problem, the Mayam Sitana Nagi, Amadi, Mayam Pusaka, the Mosava Sang Nizona, Sang Sakana was Swedagi, and the Mosaka Pig in Hazona. Bisnupur DC Pawan Yadav in the press release has informed that the district administration of Bisnupur under Kunang Chatsi, sorry, Kungang Chatsi Go to Village Mission will organize games at three villages of the district, namely Itting, Nairing China, and Kakyai on May 8. The DC has appealed to the people of the three villages to avail the benefits of the game. Shiva Sena, Manipur Pradesh and Communist Party of India, Manipur Council have asserted that they will continue to be in support of the public regarding the Sagolman District Hospital row. The party is also urged the government to construct the district hospital at Sagolman. President of State Shiva Sena M. Tombi and Secretary of State CPI L. Sotin Kumar visited Sagolmang and extended their support to the ongoing protests organized by the people of Sagolmang community hall today. The protester chanted various slogans at the sit-in. Speaking to media person, President of State Sivasena M. Tombi said there is no land-related issues in connection with the construction site of the hospital. He mentioned that the public is ready to sacrifice the land for the construction even if the government requires more space for the same. M. Tombi alleged that Medical Director Dr. K. Rajo and Additional Medical Director Dr. S. Mani Kanta are responsible for all the tension. 
maintained that the crisis could have been prevented if they have produced original facts and documents. Tombi also demanded the responsible medical director must be suspended from his post at the earliest. Minister Masasu Lakpiraga, Maduda Kanana Lanmano Kanana Summano Havidu Wakai Naraga, Masitaki District Hospital Sabase, Hongdok Pigano Havis Shiva Senamadi, Akwegi Miamgi Wakane, Masitaki Karikumba, Hong Hiba Taragadi, Maduki Tolokpa, Punamaki Daita Do, Gamen Sin for Gudavi. Documenti Karai the Gino Kanana Lali no Havo Matanda, D. Shina Lamgi Matang, the Sanga the Bamagi, Tabuk Punamaktu, Director No Oina Tobukumba. Swagi port curd the gap curd later, the Siki Pimam and Silly Living Eduna. I did Sheng Harkanda, director said immediately Mabu, suspend of whom Toy have said, Masisu A Hining Eva. Manipur Government Services Federation convened a meeting at Sajin Tong Guest House in relation to the implementation of 7th Central Pay Commission in the state today. The Federation resolved to undertake cease work strike from 16 of this month against the non-implementation of the same. Speaking to media persons, General Secretary of the Federation, Purujit Ladik Yengbam, condemned the government for failing to implement the 7th Pay Commission even after all the unceasing protests by various department officials. He stated that the Chief Minister had assured that the same will be implemented after forming a committee. However, after the committee has submitted a report, the promise has not been translated into action. Purujit maintained that the Federation will commence cease work strike and take mass casual leave from May 16 against the government's failure to convert their promise into action. Tarik Taratru Asigi, the Mirasida Gidi, Siswaki Saxi Lakaduba, Aduga, ahead of this mass casual lift hesitation, Masu Sweden of Zerakani, Adogi Madu Madugi Ware Plore, a quite proactively government Asidagi, a quite honorable chief minister, then the respective chief secretary, then commissioner of finance, and Jimusu Mayam Singh Asina, Makuan a big commitment, experience Mayam Singh Dua. But just we want to see into real action, Chapchaba, Tabo on top of the Blooming Manipur has yet again planted various types of flowers at Kwaranban Kaithil with an aim to improve the aesthetic value of only women market in the world today. Speaking on the occasion, Lok Sabha MP Dr. Thokchom Maina loaded the initiative of Blooming Manipur and encouraged him in their future and the wars. Scotland Village Authority in a press release stated that it was resolved at the annual assembly of the village that all children of the village till class 5 who intend to admit in government schools should be admitted at Scotland Primary School. However, children of six families against the village customary law were not attending Scotland Primary School but were found going to UJB school at neighbouring El Hengjol village. Scotland Village Authority clarified that according to the customary law of the village, the six families were allowed to migrate to any other village they choose without any hatred and compulsion. A combined team of Thobal Commando and 26 Assam Rifles arrested an armed citizen of Myanmar from Papal Lamkai, Kongjom around 12.30 in the afternoon yesterday. The arrested person is identified as Zhou Zhou, 35 years, son of M.G. Thiang from Homalin, Myanmar. Two Chinese hand grenades and two detonators were seized from him. It's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring reports on the 226th birth anniversary observance of Maharaja Nursing. We'll be back with the details after the break. Keep watching Impact News. Welcome back. You're watching Primetime English News. 
Maharaja Nursing Memorial Committee Imphal in association with Sri Sri Gopinaji Temple Board Purana Rajbari organized a 226th birth anniversary of Maharaja Nursing who played a significant role in redeeming Manipur from the atrocities of seven years devastation at Sagolban Mabudho Mantri Laikai today. Maharaja Nursing Birth Anniversary Celebration Award divided into eight categories were also distributed to people who excelled in various fields in relation with the commemoration program. Speaking on the occasion, Deputy Chief Minister Yumnam Joy Kumar stated that Maharaja Nursing was one of the most honest and devoted rulers in the chaotic history of Manipur who strongly maintained the unity and integrity among the different communities in the state. He maintained that Mera Ho Chongba were also celebrated for the first time during the reign of Maharaja Nursing. Speaking further, the Deputy Chief Minister asserted that it will be prudent to understand the history in order to envision a peaceful Manipur in the future. Various resource persons spoke at length on the biography and contributions of Maharaja Nursing. Sagulban Emily R.K. Imo, Saite Academy awardee and president of Maharaja Nursing Memorial Committee, Ilangbum Sonamani were among those present at the program. Deputy Chief Minister Yumnam Joy Kumar also donated rupees 50,000 and Emily Sagolban Assembly Constituency RK Imo also donated rupees five thousand. Masai Masano Padu, Hayu Budi, Koraga, Ninto, Hele, the same night in Toy Gadi, Matunde, Adu Korbe, the Kata, the nursing and Webia Ponikesu, Angam, Sarikesu, Adu Hot Tower of the Kumudina, Hazard, the Amuk, Lotunaga, Amuk Lan, Hogdena Kotana, Nasana, Sigo, Hatke, Korket, or Pudi, Kasada, Shane Giveni, Aduna, Patunde, the Mayam Nan in Tolita, the Yade, Aduna, Ninto, Ibu, Hainatoga, Nursing Ram Harashi, eighteen forty four, in Tow Orega. I think fifty Baba as a Palamaga, as we did the Lady Devon. Mana, Singa, Tangasu, Luna de Bayadi, Hibisi, Wakal Sida, Mera, Hokjong by my metam for the first time, Hokdoki, Hibisi, can you see? Sidaina comes in Badi, Kujiki government say, We started, we go to the hills. See Wakal City, Mara's nursing in Matam, the already Tahikagi Mamanga, Hiro Wakal Jay, Masi Lady Mibba, Matu Bogi Pazno Ubunga Mamba, Mr. Kamaneva. Education Minister Thokchom Radisham said the students need to respect teachers and work hard in order to be successful in life. The minister was speaking at the Farewell Come Graduation Day 2018 ceremony of Don Bosco College, Maram, yesterday. The minister stated that the northeastern states lag behind in comparison with other states of the country despite all the talents the region has. Radhi Sham stated that the progress of the region lies in the hands of youth. Two students of the college who hold position in the recently declared higher secondary examination 2018 conducted by COSIM were also felicitated on the occasion. Former Minister Francis Ngajokpa, Senapati District Commissioner Athim Muiva, concerned officials, principal of the college, teachers, staff, students and parents attended the event. Kaufin PD Minister Karam Sham and LJP Langthabal Kendra Committee encouraged Ninkaujam Radharani, the first position holder at Class 12 Art Stream Examination 2018, conducted by Kosim with financial assistance today. Radharani was presented with a 50,000 cash prize at the event held at the residence of the Minister in Lilong Chajing Maidingkong today. Speaking on the occasion, Minister Karam Sham asserted that molding an outstanding child is equivalent to building a good society. He stressed the importance of shaping the future of every child rather than just focusing, in, focusing on one's child. The minister assured that he will continue to help students to bring about a good society. I want to encouragement. Shidagi Hena, Numa, IS officer, Natraga, IPS officer, or Natragazu, MCS officer, MPS officer, work under Adum Nahana Sama, Siki Karimakara, Mating Pangin, Kalibo Potudi, Wakulgi, Amadi, Matamdu, physically, financially, Kaimas Kara Swedna Toba, Namani Havi Tazabo, I won the lay, Nahana Honor River, Torebu to give Matungina, Adum Pang by Abamating Pangani. 
Tangmaiban Kendra Development Organization Taddo organized a felicitation program for Pooja Ilangwam, who secured the 81st rank in the 2017 civil service examination conducted by UPSC at the community hall of Kuyathong Pukri Atoba Mapal today. Speaking on the occasion, Thangwiban MLA Kumukjum Joykishan said that Puja Ilangbam's achievement proves that hard work always triumphs. He maintained that in order to be a part with the rest of the country, it is important for students of the state to excel in the field of education. The organization loaded Puja's achievements with gifts and mementos. President of Takdo M. Razendro, Corporator of Imphal Municipal Corporation, Gaidong Gangmai, Puja's parents attended the event. Lions Club of Imphal and Lions Club of Imphal Valley have also contributed monetary assistance to the two siblings from Sekmai who had lost both parents in an unfortunate accident earlier last month. The clubs donated 20,000 rupees each to the girls with the hope of providing minimal assistance for their livelihood. Speaking on the occasion, Senior Lion of Lions Club of Imphal, Thaugdam Imomacha, stated that the two clubs donated the case as a part of Lions Club's relentless effort to bring equality in the society and further short of helping those in need in the future. Angang Singh Sikhi Mati Ngoi Na Pijari Basi Masi Ki Dai Lobi Riba Club Organization Lamdam Sikhi Nak Naba Mayra Pai Bi Singh Maya Amna Sinbi Lang Bi Duna Angang Singh Sikhi Hayeng Chao Rukpa Kholakpa Light Dishu Tamba Maya Am Sikhi Thabak Singh Sikhi Streamline Tau Duna Pai Khat Pina Ba Aikoi Na Request Tau Ba Yam Pam Jai Si Yau Na Upai Lai Tera Ba Marai Bak Thira Ba Icha Ishu Singh Sikhi Da Makta Di Aikoi Lai Jari Ba Lions Club Nasi mak lakcari ba Lions Club of Imphal, Lions Club of Imphal Valley ke kampu sini sida matam matam gue na terkali berusaha kui change roy. And in sports news, away team Trau FC Manipur defeated home team Mohammedan Sporting Club by 3-1 in a match of second division league match played at Bursat Stadium, Kolkata yesterday. For Trau FC Manipur, TH Malayam Nganba, Princeville O Imeka and NG Naucha nated one goal each in the 38, 48 and 89 minutes of the match. The lone goal of Mohamedan Sporting Club was nated by Rahul Jaiswal in the 90th minute of the match. So far, in the league under Group C matches, Trau FC has scored 17 points from 8 matches with 5 wins, 1 loss and 2 draws. In an upcoming match of the second division league participated by 18 football clubs, home team Trau FC will play against away team Chennainian FC on May 9th at 2.30 p.m. at Kumalam Park Men's Stadium. And before we wrap up, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Chief Minister Burain says committee to check frequent artificial flood condition in the state will be formed. Large number of localities submerged under flood water in many districts of the state. Amoko President P. H. Devan asserts conclusion to the framework agreement between NSC and IM and Centre cannot affect the integrity of Manipur. And Executive Director of Human Rights Alert Bablu Loitongbam alleges CBI of delaying trial of fake encounter cases. <laughs> 